Good morning, everyone. Tuning in to Hot Topic and Fresh News. It's the 2nd of April, 2024. We've got some critical updates to start your day. Over in the Middle East, an alleged Israeli airstrike in Gaza has claimed seven lives, including six aid workers from the World Central Kitchen Charity and their Palestinian driver. The Israel Defense Forces have yet to confirm their involvement, but claim to be conducting an in-depth investigation into the incident. The victims of this tragic event, citizens from Australia, Poland, the United Kingdom, the United States, Canada, and Palestine, were helping deliver food to a famine-stricken northern Gaza. The incident occurred despite their vehicles being armored and clearly marked as humanitarian aid, and even after coordinating their movements with the Israeli army. In response to the catastrophic event, Aaron Gore, the CEO of World Central Kitchen, and the organization's founder, celebrity chef Jose Andres, have voiced their outrage. They've called it an attack on humanitarian organizations and have urged the Israeli government to cease the killing of civilians and aid workers. In other news, the U.S. site is supporting the use of the sea route as a means to deliver aid to northern Gaza, as other means have been deemed too dangerous. The region is on the cusp of a severe famine, with approximately 1.7 million people being displaced and lacking access to basic necessities. And finally, since October 7th, the ongoing conflict between Hamas-led militants and Israel has resulted in the deaths of nearly 33,000 Palestinians, with an estimated two-thirds of the casualties being women and children. The situation remains dire and the world watches as events continue to unfold in the region. To get more insights into these topics, stay tuned to Hot Topic and Fresh News. Hello everyone, I'm Emily, your news anchor for Hot Topic and Fresh News. We're here to bring you the latest and most pressing news from around the globe, hot off the press. And joining me as always is my insightful and eloquent co-host, David. Thanks for the introduction, Emily. Always a pleasure to discuss the day's news with you and our audience. That's right, every day we're here offering you a deep dive into the most significant stories of our time. Today's headlines are certainly no exception. I mean, can you believe what's happening in Gaza? But more on that later. If you find our discussions valuable, do remember to subscribe to our channel, enable notifications, and share our podcast with your friends and family. Your support goes a long way in keeping this show going. Absolutely, Emily. The news may be global, but its impact is local. It shapes our worldviews, policies, and even our day-to-day -day lives. That's why it's crucial to stay informed and why we're committed to delivering fact-based news on hot topic and fresh news. And we're just about to dive into one of those world-shaping stories right now. You won't believe what I'm about to disclose. So stick around, you don't wanna miss this. It's hot off the press. It's quite harrowing to see the images that have emerged from this attack. The World Central Kitchen aid workers were in the midst of a humanitarian mission, and they were tragically killed in what appears to be an Israeli airstrike. The World Central Kitchen confirms this, although the Israel Defense Forces, or IDF, has not yet independently confirmed their involvement. What we know is that these aid workers were international citizens hailing from Australia, Poland, the United Kingdom, and a dual U.S.-Canada citizen was also among them, along with their Palestinian driver. It's crucial to note that the World Central Kitchen has been a lifeline for many Palestinians in the Gaza Strip, having shipped over 37 million meals since the 7th of October. That's an incredible feat, and it adds an extra layer of tragedy to this incident. They were there to provide aid, to deliver food to a region on the brink of famine, has there been any response from the governments of the victims' home countries? Good point. As of now, we are yet to hear official statements from the governments of the victims' home countries. But with the international nature of this tragedy, we can expect a global outcry and demand for a thorough and swift investigation. And what about this statement from the IDF that it has begun an in-depth investigation by the most senior ranks to understand all the circumstances of the incident? How should the international community perceive this? Well, 
the IDF has stated their commitment to ensuring the safe passage of humanitarian aid. They also emphasize their cooperation and coordination with the World Central Kitchen. However, the details of this incident suggest a glaring contradiction. It's evident that there will be widespread scrutiny on the IDF's investigation and their future actions concerning their offensive in Gaza. What's undeniable is the need for a swift resolution and accountability in this incident. The world is watching, and the loss of these aid workers cannot be in vain. The statement from the World Central Kitchen CEO, Erin Gore, is highly critical of the Israeli government. She mentions the term food as a weapon. Could you explain this to our listeners? Essentially, Gore is referring to the blockade of aid, particularly food aid, into Gaza. By controlling the flow of resources, it's seen as a way of exerting power and control, hence the term weaponizing food. What were the conditions and precautions taken by the World Central Kitchen team during this mission? It's notable that the World Central Kitchen team was moving in a de-conflicted zone, and they were in armored cars marked with the World Central Kitchen logo. They had also coordinated their movements with the Israeli army, which suggests they were following all available precautions. So, despite these precautions, the convoy was still hit. Can you talk about the aid they were carrying? The convoy was carrying over 100 tons of humanitarian food aid brought in via sea. The sea route has been touted as a new way to get aid into the northern parts of Gaza, which are on the brink of famine and largely cut off by Israeli forces. What has been the impact on the UNRWA's operations in Gaza? The UNRWA, the main UN agency working in Gaza, has faced severe restrictions. Israel has barred them from making deliveries to the north of Gaza. Furthermore, it's shocking to learn that 173 of their personnel have been killed in the ongoing violence. More details have emerged about the individuals lost in this tragic event. One of the aid workers killed was 44-year-old Zomi Frankcom from Melbourne, Australia. The Australian Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade has said they're urgently confirming these reports. What has been the response from the United States? The U.S. National Security Council spokesperson, Adrian Watson, expressed deep trouble and heartbreak over the strike. She stressed the protection of humanitarian aid workers and urged Israel to swiftly investigate the incident. I think it's important to highlight here the immense contribution of the World Central Kitchen. They had shipments bound for Gaza that were loaded with staples like rice, pasta, flour, legumes, canned vegetables, and proteins. These were enough to prepare over a million meals. It's certainly a testament to their dedication. What's the current situation in Gaza? The United Nations has warned of an impending famine in northern Gaza, which is largely isolated right now. Approximately 1.7 million people have been displaced, with many lacking access to food, water, medicine, and appropriate shelter. Since the offensive began on October 7th, the death toll has been staggering, with nearly 33,000 Palestinians killed. The Gaza Health Ministry reports that women and children make up around two-thirds of those killed. It's a sobering reality and underscores the urgency for resolution and peace negotiations. The world will be watching closely how this situation unfolds. Our time has come to a close for today's episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News. We dove deep into the pressing issues of the day, and we hope our discussion shed some light on the current events. Remember, your engagement makes a difference. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, let us accompany you on your daily commute while you're cooking or simply unwinding. If you enjoyed today's episode, let us know in the comments. Oh. And don't forget to tell your friends about us. Who knows, you might just become the go-to person for all the hot news topics in your social circle. And trust me, we've got more intriguing discussions lined up, but you'll have to tune in to find out. Remember, we're here every day, giving you the latest scoop. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to have you with us on the next episode of Hot Topic and Fresh News. Until then, stay in the loop, Keep your eyes on the news. Our channel's content will amuse.